Hi everyone, Richard Nijelski here for FitLink. In this video, we'll discuss and look at an example of a submaximal cardiovascular fitness test. Without the use of laboratory-based gas exchange analysis equipment, cardiovascular fitness can only be at best estimated. Several testing protocols have been developed which provide good indications of cardiovascular fitness when performed correctly to the specified instructions. The Ebling protocol is a single stage submaximal treadmill walking protocol used to predict maximal oxygen consumption. This test is particularly suitable for people who are prone to fatiguing quickly. Where possible, it's best to use a heart rate monitor to record the client's heart rate for analysis. The warm up phase lasts two to four minutes at a speed which the client finds comfortable, usually between three to seven kilometers per hour at a 0% gradient. The actual test begins once the client has reached a heart rate of approximately 50 to 70% of their age predicted maximal heart rate. The aim of the test is to complete 4 minutes of treadmill walking at a speed determined during the warm up phase with a 5% gradient. At the end of the 4 minutes but not after, the client's heart rate is recorded. Using the following calculation, a predicted maximal oxygen consumption rate can then be determined. The score can then be measured against the normative data to assess the client's cardiovascular fitness. Now let's have a look at an example of a single stage submaximal test being performed. Kestra, today we're going to estimate and assess uh, your cardiovascular fitness. Mm -hmm. The test we're going to use is the submaximal walking test. Now with this test we take your, uh, your predicted max heart rate, which uh, 220 minus your age comes out at about 200. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have you walk in on the treadmill between a range of 3 to 7 kilometres per hour. We're going to go with that range for a max of about 4 minutes. What we're looking to do is we're looking to get your heart rate between 50 and 70 percent of your max heart rate. So we're looking to get your heart rate between 100 and 140. Once we have it between those levels, we'll then push the incline up to 5 percent and we'll get you walking for a further four minutes. At the end of that four minutes, we'll take your heart rate. We'll use that number combined with the other numbers we have, put it into our equation to work out your cardiovascular fitness. How's that sound? Sounds great. Cool. Uh, any problems or any issues as we go through the test, if you have any breathing issues or any injuries, just let me know and we'll stop the test. Sound okay? Sure does. Yes. Cool. So we'll get ready for the test. Start in three, two, one. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to increase the speed here a little bit. Just so we can get you that heart rate into that 50 to 70 percent zone. Get you to just hold on to those handles because those handles there will give us a good reading of your heart rate up here on the screen. Right, three and a half minutes in. Looks like we're above that 50 percent. I'm now going to increase the incline five percent. Again, if there's any issues or anything with your ankles or knees or you're having any problems breathing or anything, let me know. We'll stop the test. So we're going to put it up five degrees and we're going to go for four minutes. Yeah, you may feel it raising, let's then climb coming in. Okay, right, so we've got 30 seconds left. So at the end of these 30 seconds, we're going to find out your final heart rate. Just keep your hands on the monitor, that'll let us know what it is. Uh, we'll use that number in our final equation. We're going to finish in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And it looks like your final heart rate, if you just want to step to the side, looks like your final heart rate came to 135. That's the number we'll use in our, uh, in our equation. Thank you very much. Thank you. As you saw in the example, the treadmill had an inbuilt heart rate monitoring system. Not all treadmills will have this feature. If this is the case, either a heart rate monitor should be worn by the client, or without a heart rate monitor, close estimates can be recorded by measuring the heart rate at either the carotid artery or at the wrist. You can either do this for your client or teach your client to do it themselves. Once the heart rate has been recorded, the results can be inserted into the equation to establish the client's estimated VO2 max. The result can then be used to establish training heart rates for cardiovascular training sessions. The result can also be used to assess and compare changes in the client's ability after undergoing a period of training. The client's test results should always be recorded and saved in a manner which can be easily accessed for future testing sessions.